Hello and welcome to Run Testers, my name is Nick and this is our first run review of the Kiprun KS900.2. So the KS900.2 is a new max cushion shoe that's been added to the Kiprun line. It comes in above the KS900 Lite, which is a less cushioned and significantly cheaper shoe. That's more of a daily trainer, I guess, with this now packing in a load more foam underfoot to be a cushion cruiser that's a fair bit cheaper than a lot of the big cushion shoes on the market. If we're talking about the area that contains shoes like the Asics Gel Nimbus, the Saucony Triumph, those kind of shoes, you've got a big max cushion shoe that was something that was missing from the Kiprun line until now. It is 120 pounds or 140 euros. It weighs in at 314 grams or 11 ounces which is pretty much bang on the weight of shoes like the Gel Nimbus or the Nike Invincible and it has a six millimeter drop with a stack height of 39 millimeters at the heel, 33 millimeters at the forefoot and the big stack of foam you have in the shoe is Kiprun's M foam material which the M stands for mattress, apparently, which is very nice. Obviously, it's a big, not too soft and squishy foam, but certainly comfortable, protective, and has proved very durable with uh, Kipron's other shoes in the past. There's knobbly texture on it as well. Don't really know why you've got that, but it creates quite a nice feel in the hand. Not that you'll be holding the shoe all that much. You haven't got the widest base to the shoe, which is a bit different to a lot of other Max Cushion shoes out there, which go very wide indeed to try and create stability. Have got side walls of foam. You do sit within the foam, especially at the back of the shoe there. And it's got a fair amount of structure at the back of the upper as well to, to create that stability with a big stack of foam but yeah like I say things like the gel nimbus and other shoes go for inherent stability by having a really wide base which you don't have so much with the KS900.2. What you have got is a load of padding on the tongue and heel of the shoe definitely you've got this mesh upper which is reasonably breathable quite a stiff material around the front but then yeah so much padding at the back it really does hug the foot quite tightly might end up being a little bit hot at times and it's all a bit of sweat but it certainly creates that step in comfort you expect from a big max cushion shoe and as I mentioned you've got this internal plastic heel counter to create a bit of structure and support at the back there. And you've got pretty outsole coverage on the forefoot around the edges of the back you have got a fairly large exposed foam area at the back of the shoe there but the key impact areas are covered and i don't expect there to be any substantial durability issues with this shoe On the fit of the shoe, I am testing out a UK 9.5, which is half a size up on my normal UK size. It's just slightly too long in the front of the shoe there, so I think a UK 9 would probably be all right for me uh, in terms of the length on the shoe, but running with it today, I didn't really have any problems with that slight extra length on the front of the shoe, and it is very tapered at the front of the shoe there, so it might be a little bit of a worry for those who like a wide toe box. You don't really get that on this shoe. Did certainly have a good lockdown fit around the heel and midfoot with all that padding there. As I mentioned, it can get a little bit sweaty. I'd say even on a run today, and not exactly very warm conditions, there's a little bit of sweat absorbed by the tongue of the shoe but it does create a nice secure hold around the back of the shoe and never any issues with it rubbing my Achilles in an uncomfortable way either the padding is quite well placed to hold from the sides rather than really irritating anything at the back of the shoe so yeah I would stick to your normal running shoe size this is a half size up on mine but it is a bit long but it wasn't a major problem either Good afternoon from London. I am just heading out to do my first run in the Kiprun KS900 2, the big max cushion shoe from the Cathlon. Looking forward to doing this today. I've got a nice easy hour on the plan after a hard workout yesterday, basically recovery run, the kind of thing I'd expect these shoes to be really good at with that big old stack of foam, just fairly pleasant conditions. Looking forward to just going for a nice little mooch and seeing how the shoes feel. So I've run about seven and a half K so far, just plodding merrily along. And yeah, the shoes are good. They're certainly cushioned, they're protective. They've got a narrower feel than many of these big max cushion shoes. Like Decathlon hasn't gone for a big wide base underneath for stability. So I'm a neutral runner and I quite like that narrow feel, but some might feel that they do want a bit more stability here because it is quite narrow around the midfoot, I'd say. But the foam's there, you know, it's not really bouncy or anything like that, but it's comfortable and it's not too squishy or anything like that or wobbly so yeah solid enough first few k gonna probably hit around 12 12 13 k by the end and i'll check in then so just back from my run now uh, it was a very pleasant run today for sure nice conditions slightly sunny that has been in the uk it's a bit of wind but nothing too bad nice easy pace kind of in and out of the wind adjusting the pace just basically running on feel, checking the heart rate was low for out. And yeah, the shoe was pretty comfortable. Like it's not the most exciting thing in the world, the shoe, but you know, you don't expect that necessarily from a big cushion shoe like this. And the platform was comfortable, protective. As I mentioned on the run, it has got a narrower feel than some of these really big ones. I do think that means it flows through a little bit uh, more smoothly, I found, than some of the really big shoes out there. 
you're not getting a big rocker here. Sometimes I do like that on a big cushion shoe myself. And the ride here is a bit more traditional, even with the lower drop there. It doesn't feel like a smooth or something like the New Balance more. Like When I looked at it, it looked a lot like the New Balance more V4, and I thought it would have a similar feel to that. But the more V4 is a much more rocker shoe for sure for cruising along. But yeah, pretty solid feeling. Like compared to KS900 Lite, it's heavier and uh, you've got more cushioning there. I think it's more comfortable under the forefoot in particular. I think you've got an extra large amount of foam there compared to the previous version of the shoe, but you lose some of the versatility of the KS900 Lite for sure, which was probably more of a mid level daily trainer. You could probably keep them both in the decathlon range, I'd say. I tell you what, it's a pretty solid ride there. It's not dissimilar to shoes that you can spend a lot more money on. You know, things like the Athens Gel Nimbus that are going to cost you a lot more money, but at the same time, the foam is a little bit probably less uh, bouncy and springy than some of the foams you get on other shoes that are more expensive, but it does its job. So, yeah, solid recovery run in the shoe today. That's what I'd be using it for. It's a more cushioned option within the Catalan's range for sure, the Kip Run range. I think they probably needed that because the KS900 Lite was probably not going to be as comfortable as many people would like for relaxed cruising, given the way the market has gone. Like most brands now have a much more cushioned shoe in their range and the Catalan's got one now in the KS900 too. So early verdict on the shoe would be, I guess, a fairly mixed one. On the one hand, I think Decathlon has created what it's set out to here. The, the Kipran KS900.2 is a good addition to its range. It is now a max cushion shoe that fleshes out that part of its range, coming in above the KS900 Lite as a as a more cushioned, heavier option. You can a classic easy day shoe in this new max cushioned world we live in that offers a nice level of comfort and support and protection, similar to what you're getting from lots of other brands. And it does it at a price that is below the majority of shoes on the market, but you know nearly all of them. You know, it might not be a huge discount on some of them, but it is a cheap shoe relative to most of the big max cushion shoes out there. And then on the other hand, it would be that it's not that much cheaper and the performance doesn't really stand out that much. Like it's an okay shoe. The foam isn't anything fantastic. I think durability would be very good, which might help it stand out a little bit, but it just feels like a solid shoe, one rather than one that really, you know, wows on the performance side of things and doesn't really wow on the price side of things. So it is a little bit cheaper, but there are, you know, really good shoes that don't cost that much more. Lots of shoes come down in price, you know, a fair bit all the time that end up near the price of the KS900.2 and also Decathlon doesn't have a massive habit of reducing its uh, you know new issues a lot I mean there are some reductions from time to time but it is probably easier to find discounts on shoes from more established brands especially if it's a long running line there are older shoes that are really good and you know, even on RRP there are shoes like the Puma Magnify Nitro 2 that's you know 10 pounds more it's not a huge amount more and I think that is probably a more impressive shoe with a better foam in the midsole a bit lighter all in all I did enjoy running in the shoe today and it does it does achieve what it sets out to achieve I just think for Kip Run to really make an impression, it's always a bit unfair, really, because I think they are making shoes that are pretty much as good as other brand shoes, and they're doing it a little bit cheaper. But I think people almost expect a bit more from Decathlon, which is probably a bit unfair in that they're you know used to getting exceptional value from Decathlon, and this is just good value. And if it's just good value, I think people will have a habit of sticking to more established brands. And obviously, it's too early to really give a final conclusion in comparison to other shoes. But the, my feeling after one run is there will be better shoes from other brands that are more established and maybe don't cost that much more or can be found in sales. So yeah, that's why it's mixed. I think it's a good shoe though after that one run i'm looking forward to doing some more runs and it will have more thoughts on this in our full review it, and i do think it's a welcome addition to the kit run lineup people love max cushion shoes it's a good idea to have one and i think this does a pretty solid job all round it's just whether that'll be enough to convince people to go to kit run over other brands is uh, yet to be seen That's our first run review of the KS900.2 then. Please do like and subscribe, ring the little bell, and we will see you next time.